Hi everybody and welcome to Reads Reads Spider-Man Crawl Space Edition. Please check us out at the spidermancrawlspace.com. Well, I'm here to review Issues Amazing 70, aka 871 for the legacy number. I had to read the digital copy this uh, week due to a couple of uh, problems over the holidays, but I'm here to review the Sinister War Prelude. So let's right now get into the pros. First of all, this issue doesn't waste any time. It really picks up everything that just recently happened at the end of the Chameleon Conspiracy. Spider-Man, of course, rushes to find that Kirk Connors has been separated from his lizard uh, persona, which, of course, was set up back in the first six issues of Nick Spencer's run. So now Kirk Connors and the lizard, of course, have been separated, and the lizard, of course, being used by Dr. Octopus for the new Sinister Six as they go out to get their orders, and Spider-Man sets out to get everything. And so much is going on in the background. We find out that there's peace. We finally find out what happened to Carly Cooper from a couple issues ago. And, of course, the reveal that, of course, Harry Osborne's body is what was found in the areas, even though they, of course, have uh, Kindred as Harry, which, of course, also points out that Harry Lindman, a.k.a. the post-brand-new day Harry, might not be who he is. And it's really an interesting setup because there's a lot of pieces that Nick Spencer has been setting up the last three years that really start showing how they're coming together here. We also have things about the uh, unareas from Osborne's accounts, the things with Harry, the fact that how he, this Harry ended up in prison and how he was been trapped, as well as also the mansion and other pieces that were used recently here in the Clone Conspiracy explain how Ned Leeds was back. So it's a really interesting setup. And also what's also very interesting is all the pieces that are in motion here too. Everything's leading up to this. Uh, with all the different sin sinister fi uh, um, pieces because here Kendra has put everything together for Dr. Octopus to create this new Sinister Six and of course the big re revelation he wants Mysterio which you knew he was not done with and the fact how these all their ones are coming together. You have the Savage Six led by the Vulture who is out for revenge against both uh, Mysterio and Mary Jane. You have the Sinister Syndicate, of course, under um, Janice Lincoln, even though her and Randy are in love, she's out to make a name for herself by taking care of these other crime bosses, thanks to, of course, the Kingpin bringing back the Rose. So now we're seeing how that connects into everything. And of course, you have the Foreigner with his own version of, you know, the Casino Six, <laughs> as uh, my friend Pete talked about here in his review, um, getting everything together and not knowing that Spider-Man really isn't the cause for blame but is all out for it. But pretty much everything is leading right here and including um, Overdrive recruiting um, Boomerang, uh, Boomerang and the rest of the original superior foes to go after Spider-Man as well as try to against Kindred. So we're seeing how this war is all being brought together, which is really nice. It gets all the set up and basically explains everything that's been going on by piggy banking on it. But that leads to the cons. Here it is. It kind of feels like the clone conspiracy really, I am not shouldn't say clone conspiracy, the chameleon is setting up his own version of a world war, which really doesn't come across. But of course, he's got everything set up now with Silver Sable, with the foreigner feeling like, um, you know, Spider-Man's the cause for the loss of his money when he doesn't know if Silver Sable basically took his money back. And you have all this set up because, of course, as much as Kindred has tried to keep Mary Jane out of it, he set up everything for the Savage Six to come into thing to get Mysterio as well as the Sinister Foes to come out and everything. And it's just a big commotion, but a lot of it's kind of a little bit contrived, especially with Carly Cooper when, of course, the fact that, you know, that people have noticed that she's been missing and everything. And it kind of is along the lines of what I said earlier with the Betty Brant subplot for almost two years where Peter's like, oh, yeah, nope, not going to worry about Betty. Uh, even though I got thousands of texts about what's coming. It's just like with Carly. All of a sudden she disappeared. People know she was disappeared. Her su superhero support group knows she disappeared. And now they're going to finally do something. And now they're all kind of realize that, oh, something's really kind of up here. That doesn't really make sense. It's kind of like, uh, oh, yeah, Carly. Yeah, I remember her. Oh, she might be in trouble. Let's do it. And then, of course, everything else, too. I mean, the foreigner, the fact is thinking that Spider-Man got everything up with the clenvoyant and he took his money when Spider-Man has never shown that kind of areas, but everything is kind of being set to be manipulable. So it kind of kind of throws in with a couple of things that are a little hard to swallow, as well as people, you know, as they say, taking their stupid pills to get everything up. But the subplots are really good. The characterization is nice. The artwork is not bad, too. And I like that we're kind of leading to this conclusion uh, in the next couple months with Nick Spencer's run. So it's really nice. And it's, of course, leading to Sinister War, which I'm really looking forward to, as well as how this is all going to wrap up. And really, what is Kindred's main plan? Even more exactly, who is the other Harry Osborne? And really, if... 
Harry's body was discovered there, then how come Harry is walking around as a demon? So there's some really interesting things about that we still do not know. Also, what has Miss Fisto got to do with all this? Because we've been waiting, what, three months since Doctor Strange asked uh, what's wrong with Peter Parker's soul and we don't know anything. Hmm, another subplot left. But all the over, um, it's really destined to get you ready to feel like there's a big uh, ending storyline coming here with the upcoming uh, storylines as well as Spider-Man Beyond starting in a couple months. So I'm actually going to give it an A-. minus. I know it's pretty high because I felt that the cons Melian conspiracy kind of fell a little bit flat and it wasn't too bad of a story with a C+. Plus, but this storyline is an A-. minus. I'm actually looking really forward to seeing how Sinister War wraps up everything with Nick Spencer's run and leads to, of course, 875, which will, of course, wrap up Peter as Spider-Man for right now and bring back Ben Ryan. So not too bad. So A minus. And on that note, everybody, I am out of here. I will see everybody actually in a little over a week here when I review Sinister War Part 1 miniseries. I'm about to head out of town for a couple days, but I'll be back for that. And also, if you want to keep in touch with current reviews and all the Spider-Man news, please check us out at the Spider-Man Crawlspace.com. Please check out our podcast as well as other related pieces and reviews to keep you on top for the Spider-Man crawl space love and on that note everybody i will see everybody on the crawl space